Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. This is Pradeep and you're watching Vlog of Note. So the Samsung Galaxy S20 is round about the corner and we need to talk about the next big thing in smartphone display technology. No, I'm not talking about foldable phones. I'm talking about 120Hz refresh rates. In this video, we're going to talk about touch latency, touch delivery rate and touch sample rate. It's a completely nerdy video. Let's get started. So first up, we have to go back 10 years. So this Google engineer called Andrew Munn, he was an intern. He put up a Google Plus post. That's how you know how old this thing is. It was a Google Plus post, which was picked up by a Time.com reporter in which he says Android will always be laggy. Now, one of the chief complaints that anyone who uses an iPhone who switches over to an Android phone has is that the phone is somewhat laggy. The touch response is not good. It doesn't feel fluid. Well, according to Andrew Munn in his post, he says that the reason that Android is laggy is that in Android, when you tap on a UI element, maybe it's a button, Android then puts that process onto the main process and then gives it a normal priority. Whereas on iPhone, when you tap on a button, iOS puts it on a separate process and gives it real-time priority. So the iPhone is really upset that you are touching it and wants to give you a response as fast as possible. Anyway, Google put a response out to this post. They called him an intern, which he was, but that wasn't the point. They said that Android will give complete priority to your user inputs, but I still feel that Android phones are buggy and laggy when it comes to comparisons with iPhones. And in this video, let's talk about why that is. So credit where credit is due. This entire video came about because I watched another video in which a user on YouTube was comparing the OnePlus 7 Pro to an iPhone. The OnePlus 7 Pro, as you know, has a 90 hertz touch delivery rate or refresh rate, but it has a touch sample rate of only 60 hertz. The iPhone, which has a touch delivery rate of 60 hertz, has a touch sample rate of 120 hertz, and therefore the iPhone is faster in its touch latency. Now we need to explain these three terms, touch latency, touch delivery rate, also called refresh rate and touch sample rate. Now touch latency is the most difficult among all of these to explain because it isn't actually quantified. There isn't a global ranking of all the touch latency on your smartphone because it depends on the processor, the GPU, the conditions on which you're using your phone. So touch latency isn't all that quantified. On the other hand, touch delivery rate and touch sample rate are both quantifiable metrics, touch delivery rate gives you the rate at which your smartphone is delivering its responses to your touch and touch sample rate gives you the number of times your phone is checking to see if you've touched it. Speaking of touch latency rate, there are three things that we need to talk about. The first is this Reddit forum post. I will link to it in the description right next to that like button in which a user is talking about the touch latency rate of various smartphones. He's talking about the OnePlus 3, the 3T, the 5, the 5T, the 6, the Pixel 3 XL, the iPhone 10X Max and the Note 9. And if you look at this post, you will see that the Note 9 and the iPhone 10X Max are pretty much neck and neck when it comes to touch latency. The user does not disclose their source or their methodology, so we'll keep this aside for now. Next, let's talk about this app called GameBench, which in their blog post, I will link to that one also in the description, they're talking about launching a global benchmark of touch latency in games specifically. In this post, they're comparing two phones, the iPhone XX Max and the Note 10, which launched to the latter half of last year. And you will see that the Note 10 and the iPhone XX Max are pretty much neck and neck when it comes to touch latency. Although the iPhone is a little bit faster in certain cases, that's because of the better GPU performance and the better optimization. And finally, let's come to this video interview in which the chairman of ASUS is talking about Apple's world record when it comes to touch latency. He says that the latency on the iPhone is about 49 milliseconds and that the ROG phone, the phone with the 120 hertz display, was actually able to crack that latency record. I'll remind you here that the human eye has difficulty in seeing the variance when it's under 12 milliseconds. Anyway, let's now talk about touch delivery delivery rate or touch refresh rate and touch sample rate. The OnePlus 8, which is coming out in a couple of months, will have a 120 hertz touch delivery rate or refresh rate, but it will also have a 240 hertz touch sample rate, making it absolutely awesome. Wrapping this entire thing up, we also know that the Samsung Galaxy S20 will have a 120 hertz refresh rate. And because Samsung has a good record when it comes to touch latency, we can assume that the touch delivery rate will also be accompanied by a good touch 
large sample rate, meaning that I can't wait for this phone. That's about it for this video, guys. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. Drop your comments in the comment section down below as to what you think of touch latency, touch delivery rate, and touch sample rate. If you think that they're all total baloney or if there's actually something there, as always, please go over to YouTube and subscribe to the Vlog of Nerd channel. Ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video. And I will see you guys in the next week's episode.